and the public even can have one hearing. Six months have passed. They have not even sent to the proceeding to come to the proceeding. Pointed question was to the conservation people. Is there any layout plan which shows uh, the plot, school plot? Does it uh, have this road or not? Then the direction was, okay, you carry it to the assistant here. Okay, you carry uh, joint discussion with Mr. Gay. Nobody came for joint discussion. Since then, I have been writing to them, raising this issue in Hagindari meeting. It is duly recorded. And in the last meeting, I said then, sir, if, if you cannot solve this, give me a drink. From that day onward, I will sit on fast and go death before you are. Now you tell me that you have had so much experience. We are all senior citizens. I am the youngest there and you will be by age is 72. Now what we should do, which door we should not, we pass to the notice of chief secretary. I went personally to the office of chief minister and there that gentleman who was noting the public event, then it was duly recorded. Now where should I go? Where should persons like us go? Let us talk only of the ground reality. The people like us have got no right. So, sir, we need your guidance. Time is Thank you. Yeah, I think we'll conclude with that just to kind of uh, answer it. We won't take more questions on it. That's so uh, I want to say that we have a very progressive constitution in this country which empowers citizens. We have a very important tool now called right to information. And I promise you, if you use that uh, well, you I can say, govern government. Let me know. I have also spent 35 years and I had a chief sure. uh, level. Sure. And I have been in the social work for more than 40 years. Sure, sir. So okay. I know what is the social work. So we'll, we'll, and we'll, uh, uh, there we are beginners. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll take this offline. Yeah. I just want to say following yeah. yeah. the practice social agitator. So you can take it. Go to the media. Okay, I just want to say four lines. Thank you, Jerry, for coming. Go to the media, they will cover it, make a story of it, especially during the election. Let's go and tell the Show them a picture of what it was before and what it was before. I approached media so many times. I approached media so many times to uh, the press paper, to ASAP, to NDTV, to other people. And then NDTV, when they have to start this RP and others, three million parents, three from 30 years they came to me. They recorded all my interview and everything. And then I got a letter from there. Sir, because people are not agreeing, so therefore we are not airing this program. Okay. Right, and uh, I said on the net itself, they're telling anybody what I am saying is wrong. If it is right, why don't we get a way to, uh, to take up this call? Thank you, Mr. Guy. And we were, Lenin, you want to say some four lines you said there? Yeah. And that's sorry, to, sorry to extend it. Going back to what Vandana asked, you know, uh, safety, you know. Uh, my name is Lenny, okay? I'm just going back to Vandana's question as to if we want to, what is the safety being offered if we want to be out in the system? I just want to say that I, I asked the same question to someone and gone are the days where only politicians were being assassinated, gone are the days of Rajiv Gandhi. Today we have bombs in the train, so I don't think it's a big difference whether you're, you're a politician or you're a common citizen. The chances are the same. And secondly, with regards to how do you get there, I think if you, if you, gave, me a, if you gave me the opportunity to be reborn as a politician or Amir Khan, I choose Amir Khan. He has far more influence in what he says rather than a politician. So if you really want to make a change, I, I, I mean, politics is one of the ways, but if you really want to get up, get out there, just get out there and, and people will listen as long as you, you can talk, you know. True, I agree, I agree with Lyndon and I agree with what uh, Sarasana said. Is, uh, we actually have a national award for social justice and citizen action, which we give to people from all walks of life, including people from Panchayati Raj and, you know, things like that. Okay, we'll conclude this session and call on Mr. Anand Trivedi again to uh, give away the mementos and we'll go into the next session. Oh, oh, oh. Well, thank you. That is very interesting and thought provoking, I think. Uh, well, to continue with the mementos, uh, Mr. Anand Trivedi, could you please hand over the memento to our chair, chairman for the panel, Mr. Lingdo? Mr. Rajendra Joshi. Major General Ian Cardoso. Ms. Tara Sinha.
Dr. Venkat Pulla. Thank you, Mr. Baby, and uh, thank you, everybody, for the lovely, fascinating discussion. Thank you. Pray wrong or right every right. We can probably discuss that later. Well, moving on to the second panel, the topic for the panel is Citizen Action to Combat Human Trafficking. This is a special panel conducted by UNODC. For the panel, I call upon Ms. Hasina Kharpi to please come on to stage. Ms. Hasina is an Ashoka Fellow and the founder of Impulse Network for Northeast India. I would also like to call upon Mr. Jerry Pinto. Mr. Jerry Pinto is a consultant and a child rights specialist. This is a special panel for today where we are going to be talking about citizen action to combat human trafficking. been given to, to us is basically in terms of uh, citizen action to combat human trafficking. What I will be sharing now is basically a, a response by a citizen in terms of the issue of human trafficking. It's a, it's a practice, it's a response which is happening in the northeast of India. Uh, when we talk about create a complementary environment in the communities for the law enforcement by utilizing the Indian Postal Service Network, to enhance the interagency collaboration in combating trafficking in person. It is basically a citizen response to understand that we need to involve the government participation to bring about change. And that kind of response can also be taken not just by the NGO or individual, but it can also take on in terms of partnerships, of making government responsible, bring the government to work, or initiate a kind of a responsive to understand what the issue is all about. Now we go to the Northeast. I would like to just uh, bring about the, the region of the Northeast. Is that we have eight Northeastern states. Next. Eight Northeastern states. Now the Northeast is, uh, I mean we have eight states which is Assam, bordering Bangladesh, Bhutan and Nepal. Then we have Nagaland bordering in Myanmar, Manipur bordering Myanmar, Mizoram bordering Myanmar, Meghalaya bordering Bangladesh, Arunachal Pradesh bordering China, Tripura bordering Bangladesh, Sikkim bordering China and Nepal, and Bhutan. Now these are the states which are having a lot of international border across. And this is also the states which are actually very isolated in terms of its geographical location, in terms of the work which is happening in that region or the communication level, it's very far off. Next. Now we look at the situation in the Northeast. We come across that over the years now, especially over the past few years, human trafficking has become very rampant. That young children and young women are being trafficked from the remote of different districts of the region to other parts of India as well as it's also being a transit route for a lot of international cross-border human trafficking issues. Now these remote villages of the Northeast at one end does not have access to sort of information. No doubt at the state level or the, the main district level the communication services is very much there. But when it goes far beyond the different district, 
then there's a question of how do you reach there to educate people? How does people get to know about the issue? How does people get to response that human trafficking is a violation? Or how vulnerable young children and young women are being brought from those regions to different parts of the states of India and they're being exploited at various forms, whether it's labor, whether it's sexual exploitation and others. To go into it, what we from Impulse, the organization, took up as a step that we could bring change. We took up as a step that as a nodal focal point for the Northeast, we would be able you know, to work. So for the past eight years, what we've been doing was rescue operation that has been conducted through networking in other metropolitan cities in India, as well as you know, the challenges that we have faced in space of bringing repatriation processes has been quite a big question. Often when girls are being rescued in metropolitan cities, there has been always one big question, how do you send them back? How do we connect to the families in a different district? Which will be the mode of connecting? Because it's just not about telephoning you know, the district headquarters. There are many villages and far-flung villages. How do you trace the families of these young children and young girls? Especially when they've been trafficked when they're at the age of 11 or 12, and when they're rescued, they're already young girls of 18. Sometimes they're rescued when they're 19 or 20. So that comes with the question, how can we bring people to participate? Which kind of support system the government can do to actually bring about responding to repatriation of traffic girls? Thanks. What we got out that we could do it, and how could we do it? We brought about the Indian Postal Service or the post office, that today very often we don't talk about it anymore in the world of internet, in the world of multimedias and ITs. But the Indian Postal Service, it's basically reaching out to all the remotest area of the Northeast still today. It is something which is connecting the people. People are still responding, whether it's a money order or you know getting a letter back or sending an information or a letter. Now, as an info, it is actually an information hub for a lot of villages in the region, and I think it is still existing in many remote parts of India as well. Now, postman or the postwoman is also a trusted and very familiar visitor to the community. Till today, when we looked and worked in these districts, we realized that the citizens themselves would go to the postman or the postwoman to even get the letters read, they would get the information from them, or they would ask them for any kind of information or new things that they are not aware of. So taking that as a kind of a support service, what we decided was get the Indian Postal Service to create a kind of an awareness to address human trafficking issues in the context of children, especially who are mostly affected. So what we did first was basically we addressed it by training the staff training the staff of the postal services, getting the postman and the postwoman, so that they would be able to understand what is human trafficking, how does it happen, what will be the role they could be involved, and how the methodology can work so that they would be participating. So what we were trying to do was basically getting each postman and postwoman as a citizen to respond to the issue of human trafficking beyond the role that they're doing in delivering letters getting them to feel that they play a part in the whole process to address human rights issues, especially in the context of children. Now, the next point was post office as a connecting agency is something where community trusts, and if they connect it to the law enforcement, and bringing the, bridging the gap with the civil society organization or the partner NGOs that work at the state level, the postal services could be a kind of a vital uh, hub because very often the community will never be going to the law enforcement directly. There's always a tendency of not being able to go to the police station and filing an FIR if the daughters or children are missing. Now, that is where the whole uh, work started begins. And then we started the Postal Service MOU. Why this MOU? If we have to sustain the whole process, then we have to make the post office responsible.